Um, if a fang turned off the battery, it won't. The screen won't turn on. The <laughs> Okay, so we got day number 40. We're here, day four zero, that's right. We're here, ah, vlog 108 today. We're at the America's Best Value Inn. It is the only hotel in this area if you come through that's open. And it's actually really nice for the price. It's, it was 60 bucks to stay here. Uh, and that includes 65 of the taxes. Really nice rooms and uh, you guys can check it out. There's a sit go right over there. And I found out yesterday, if you watch yesterday's vlog, why the other hotel, it was, at, it was closed. Reason being, the owner here just told me is because they had a fire in the front and the city, because of coding, won't allow them to reopen only half the hotel in the back. So the front side had a fire, back side, they won't allow it because of coding. So anyway, that's what we got. We're gonna hit 69 miles today. We're gonna rock and roll. We are heading to Selma, 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 Alabama. That's right, Alabama. You know who said that? Alabama. That for his gump. Sorry to look like Forrest Gump. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. Stay happy. Stay humble. Make a donation. PositiveVibesTour.com. Also, subscribe. James Dobson Vlogs on YouTube. James Dobson Vlogs on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love you guys. Have a good day. Let's go. Um, basically, it's got like, had 20, 27 speeds or 30 speeds. We put a pedal assist on it, so it helps because I got bad knees. And I've had back surgery. So anybody that has like bad backs, knees, stuff like that, this is a perfect bike for them. All right, so for breakfast, we got our water. We got a bacon, egg, and cheese. I got my five hour energy, and I also got a uh, s'mores for when I get hungry and snack on the road another five hours. So that's what we got uh, for breakfast. How you like the bike? You seen it? I love it. <laughs> Come here. I want a hug. I need a hug. Come here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. No, thank you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Absolutely. He's a fighter, right? Yes, sir. That's it. Love that. All right, so uh, scratch what I said yesterday <laughs> about the Alabama flag. I found one. That's the only reason. See, I found a Bama flag. Look, I'm going to put it on there. These ladies over here at this gas station, this uh, sit go we're at right now, they actually uh, gave me a flag. They, they donated a flag. I just got a bunch of donations as well from them. So thank you to, uh, to those ladies there. Uh, young lady in here is actually a cancer survivor as well, and she donated too. So uh, just some good people all around down here. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate that. We got the flag on the bike now. It's official. So y'all can just forget about what I said yesterday about having a flag in that video. Uh, we have our Alabama flag. So when I get to Mississippi, we're gonna have a Mississippi State flag on the other side. When I get to Texas, we're gonna put a Texas flag on. And hopefully by that point, people realize that I'm traveling across and doing and doing something. Uh, um, not really for the, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. But I'm gonna keep putting flags in this thing. So truth be told, I am getting a lot more waves from people today. That Alabama flag, I'm sure, has something to do with it. So, uh, yeah, roll time. All right, so we just took our first little bathroom break, which is nice at 20 miles, and uh, we're gonna have the s'mores. Oh, ah, oh god, a little snacky snack. Mm. So I'm calling 
GoPro real quick because I want to find out if what the best setup is. So I'm calling them now. I want to see what the best setup for audio is for you guys because it's going to make it a lot better. Close call. So, just contacted GoPro, and uh, although they wouldn't let me speak with the CEO, I'm not in that level yet, like Casey Nasty. Um, well, I asked that anyway, regardless. <laughs> I spoke to some young lady in the Philippines uh, who was very nice, and she's going to send me an email on the accessories and for the microphone of which they, um, they recommend. So... Hopefully we can get ourselves a microphone at some point sooner than later and uh, hopefully it's waterproof too, but I don't know many mics that are waterproof. So when you get people that are in a rush, like this person beside me and they squeal their tires. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Please, I'm pro. Even with cops right next to them, they're just like, I don't care. I'm just gonna speed. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. And I don't care if there's somebody in front of me or not, or I lose my license, I'm just gonna do it. Cause I got places to be. I got cigarettes to smoke, I got beer to drink. It's Friday night, I need to get some. 39 miles to Selma. Selma, 39, that's how I knew that. <laughs> Holy smokes, there's a super heavy crosswind. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. All this talk about west to east, east to west because of the wind. The only time the wind is gonna help or hurt you on a bicycle especially, it's not. If you're in an airplane, there's called a jet stream. We all know about that. And the wind makes a difference with the jet stream, okay? If you can't pedal, into the wind one day and you think it's because you went the wrong way it's not it's because the wind decided to blow that way and you just happen to be riding in it so quit using the excuse that the wind is keeping you from pedaling faster it does but it doesn't happen all the wind goes every which direction it's not the wind people it's your little chicken legs <laughs> hit the quad machine so today is uh pretty desolate I think that's the right word. There's nothing around. I mean, it's... There's nothing. But we're going to have to get used to that because uh, the further uh, south and west we go, uh, especially into Texas and stuff, there's not too many places to stop. And I only know this because I took a trip across the country in my car six months ago. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot of places um, that we're going to stop at. So we can stop because it's all like this, except there's no trees, cactuses. I don't know how many of you guys have actually had these, uh, but they're really good. They're called Stinger. They're uh, energy gel. And uh, these are really good. I'm, I'm in between a lot of stuff right now. There's no food within the last 15 miles. Um, and I ate my, my Pop-Tart. Um, and so now I'm kind of SOL with food, so I'm eating this. And this actually does, it's not too bad. So uh, hopefully this lasts me. I get two more until it gets to the next town. But I'm only about 25 miles away, but still. I hope there's food before then. But I don't know, anybody else out there, you guys uh, use these or what do you use for, for your energy during a ride? I'm curious.
all set, brother? Yeah, we're good. You good? Yeah. Okay, man. You're welcome. All right, so once again, uh, I'm raining out. Of course, you guys have seen that, but this thing is canopy. It's keeping the rain off my eyes, off my head, and it's made this ride very tolerable. Uh, a lot of times you don't want to ride in the rain, but it's kind of nice if uh, you get a pair of rain pants. Um, I don't have those on today, but you can always ride in the rain with this thing. Be very comfortable if you had a front, um, uh, like cowling, they're calling or Carlene cowling, it would actually make this ride a lot more enjoyable. It'd be almost fully covered. Now, I don't think you can actually have one with a canopy. Maybe Ed can explain that, or well, yes, you can, or maybe you can't. But uh, if you could somehow figure out how to enclose this when it's raining out, you could have a really nice ride and, and almost virtually, uh, virtually dry. So basically what we're doing, we're gonna, have, we're gonna eat here at uh, Taco Bell because our hotel is, uh, Taco Bell. So we're gonna, our hotel is probably about, I would say, maybe another half mile down the road. And then, uh, how you doing, folks? I seen you coming down through 19. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I was coming through 19. I, uh, I can't remember where, where I come from. Right yeah, I'm riding to San Diego, California right now. Right. I'm riding for kids with cancer and uh, from New Hampshire. So I've done about 1,400 miles so far. Wow. Yeah, it's my 40th day on the road, so I've been vlogging the whole thing on YouTube and stuff. You watch YouTube? No, no YouTube. Well, I... I... It's always a good sign. You get to the, get to the hotel. Police are here. Oh, what's going on? How you doing, sir? Good. All right, so we just got to the hotel room and uh, basically what's happening is my, um, the fang turned off the battery, it won't, the screen won't turn on, the battery's on, but it's not turning my screen on. So there's no wires disconnect or anything like that, but uh, it's, I think it might be the rain. We're gonna do a reset on it and see, and I'll let you guys know in a second. All right, guys, so we figured out what was wrong with the battery. Uh, the battery actually has, um, might have gotten a little wet, so uh, water seeped down. The way we put it up and down like that, it actually, the water could have crept in, so we're gonna get a cover for that tomorrow. But anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, if you'd like to watch yesterday's vlog, go ahead and click right here. If you wanna watch me wrangle a deer, go ahead and click right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, click right there. And as always, stay happy, stay humble, and I will see you guys later and smile. Don't forget about that most important part. From Selma, Alabama, I'm out of here. See you tomorrow.